To my beloved brethren and God's holy people across the globe, welcome to another program in the series, A Word to the Nation broadcast. I am Pastor Carol Wilson, your humble servant, and I encourage you to spare a few minutes out of your busy schedule and allow the Lord to speak to your hearts. Good morning, brothers and sisters. I'd like to tell you a story this morning. Years ago, I remember visiting a beach in Nigril along with some friends. I must confess I am not a swimmer, and so I made sure when I am standing in the water, the highest the water would be is up to my chest. I was there for a while enjoying the water when I realized that the water was almost covering my head and I started to panic. For a moment it puzzled me that moments ago I was enjoying the level of the water and then a few minutes later I was in trouble with the water almost covering my head. On closer observation I realized that when I went in the water, there was a post out in the water that was to the left of me. Now that I was in trouble, I realized that the post was to my right. I had drifted from my original place. What is drifting? Drifting is the act of being carried away by a current of air or water. For us as Christians, drifting is a subtle evil influence that pulls us away from God. I have never seen a vessel drifting upstream to the source of the water. The current always takes it downstream away from the source of the water. In the same way, we must become cognizant that the evils and challenges of life are like currents which causes us to drift away from God, our ultimate source. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today I want to share a message about drifting. We have all had moments in our lives when we felt like we were drifting away from God. Much like my experience at the beach in Negril. Just as the current carried me away from my original spot, the challenges and temptations of life can carry us away from our faith. Recognizing the currents. Hebrews 2 verse 1 warns us, we must pay the most careful attention therefore to what we have heard so that we do not drift away we must be vigilant and recognize the currents in our lives that lead us astray these currents can come in the form of distractions worldly desires or even doubt to combat drifting, we must anchor ourselves in God's word. Psalm 119 verse 105 reminds us that your word is a lamp for my feet and a light on my path. Just as a ship needs a strong anchor to remain steady, in turbulent waters we need the word of god to keep us grounded in our faith life's waters can be unpredictable but with god or compass we can navigate through challenges and temptations proverbs 3 5 and 6 encourages us to trust in the lord with all our heart and do not rely on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your paths straight. As we reflect on drifting and the importance of staying anchored in our faith, 
I urge you all to take action. Reclaim your faith by spending time in prayer and scripture. Seek fellowship with other believers who can help keep you on course. And when you find yourself drifting, turn back to God, for He is the source of our strength and salvation. Drifting is a subtle yet dangerous phenomenon that can lead us away from our faith in God. Just as my experience at the beach in Negril taught me about the dangers of drifting, we must understand the perils it poses to our spiritual lives. When we drift in our faith, we gradually distance ourselves from God. It starts as a slight shift, much like my movement in the water, but over time it can lead to a significant gap between us and our Heavenly Father. This drifting can result from various factors, including complacency, worldly distractions, or the pressures of life. As Christians, our ultimate source of strength, wisdom, and peace is God. Just as a ship needs to stay close to its source of water to avoid drifting downstream, we must remain close to God, our ultimate source of spiritual nourishment. Proverbs 18.10 reminds us that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are protected. One way to prevent drifting is through community and fellowship with fellow believers. When we surround ourselves with like-minded Christians, we can support and encourage one another to stay anchored in our faith. Hebrews 10.25 advises us not neglecting to gather together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging each other, and all the more as you see the day approaching. In conclusion, just as I drifted away from the safety of the shore that day in Negril, we can all drift away from God if we are not vigilant. But with faith, prayer, and God's word as our anchor, we can remain steadfast in our journey of faith. Let us remember Hebrews 2 verse 1 and strive not to drift away, but to draw closer to our loving Creator. The message of drifting is a call to action for all of us. We must be vigilant, recognizing that the currents in our lives that lead us away from God. Let us anchor ourselves in His Word seek his guidance in prayer and stay connected with our faith community. In doing so, we can avoid the perils of drifting and remain steadfast in our journey of faith. As you go forth from this sermon, remember that God is the source of all strength and by staying close to him and one another, we can navigate the waters of life without drifting away. May His grace and love guide you in your daily walk with Him. Amen. I was drifting away on life's pitiless sea and the
the captain's kind ear, ever ready to hear, caught my wail of distress as I cried out in fear. Ship ahoy, ship ahoy, as I cried out in fear. Ship ahoy, the good captain. And I'm happy today, all my sins washed away in the blood of my Savior, and now I can say, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, from my soul I can say, bless the Lord. I was drifting away on life's pitiless sea, and the angry waves threatened my ruin to be. When away at my side there I dimly descried a stately old vessel, and loudly I cried, Ship ahoy! on the sailing along all aboard her sing joy as I heard their sweet song and the captain's kind ear ever ready to hear caught my wail of distress as I cried out in fear ship ahoy And I'm happy today, all my sins washed away in the blood of my Savior, and now I can say, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, from my soul I can say, bless the Lord. Thank you for joining us today for a Word to the Nation broadcast, B182. This is your brother and friend, Carol Wilson, saying, Have a happy Sabbath, a fantastic day, 
and may the God of heaven bless you real good. Peace and love to you all.